No, you can stand up. <laughs> Hello, Tank. Hello, Mr. Beers. Professor Beers. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Stephen Brooks. I'm the band and orchestra director here at Newington High School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here to our 2023 spring band concert. Seated in front of you is our brass ensemble, our brass sextet. This is a completely student-run organization. I have done nothing to work with these guys other than teach them everything they know. Um, there are six terrific brass players here in front of you. Every single one of them is an All-State player. Every single one of them. And I can't tell you when the last time, if ever, that's happened in my career. Not only have they rehearsed themselves, selected their music, but Ben is also their in-house arranger, and he selected some, some, some pieces that he wanted to work with Brass Quartet, and he rearranged them to work for this ensemble. So I'm going to let Ben and Eli say a few words before they start. This is Eli Johnson. Hello. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to uh, make this quartet, I mean sextet, um, was in collaboration with our National Honor Society Service Project. You might have seen... Uh, Jackson Civitello on the table on the way in um, asking about fundraising and we wanted to play this sextet in order to raise awareness and funds for the Spread Music Now Fund which is something we're all passionate about in mu being music and um, future music educators and um, we, it's, a, it's basically a way to fund music education in Connecticut and we would love if you could take a look at the flyers on your way out and maybe consider donating because it would mean a lot to us and just music educators as a whole. So thank you. So we have uh, two song selections. The first you'll hear is Luke's Arumque. Uh, it is a song by Eric Whitaker, who is a chorale uh, com uh, composer. Uh, and it's arranged for six instruments. And you'll finally hear First Suite E flat, the third movement, which is a piece first by Gustav Holst. And it's very popular. Some people might recognize it. And that'll be the end of our segment. Then we'll go to Wind Ensemble, right? Yeah. Thank you. Symphonic? Symphonic man, my fault. Thank you. 
Okay, seated up here on the stage, joining me is the symphonic band, and we have three selections for you. The first one is a modern piece for band entitled Spirals for Light by Sean O'Loughlin. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Our next selection, Joy Revisited, is a very different stylistically. Um, you'll notice that the textures, the scoring is much more sparse. Instruments are more exposed. It's what we would call thinly textured in the music world. It's a lot more challenging to play. It's a little more intimidating because you might be only one of two instruments playing at once um, instead of like that last piece where everyone's really going, you know, the whole woman section is together, the whole brass section is together, reinforced by the percussion. Um, so this takes a lot of time to work on balance and blend and entrances and their tempo changes in there. So it's a very mature piece of music um, and uh, we grew a lot working on this. Frank to Kelly's Joy Revisited. Thank you. 
Our final selection, you're going to recognize many of you, music from the movie The Incredibles. Uh, when we were working on um, music in late winter, early spring, we were looking for a third piece, and I gave them a bunch of selections to, to choose from, and they voted for this piece resoundingly, overwhelmingly. Um, it's been a real challenge because it's very fast, and uh, some, a lot of chromatic notes um, that have to move by really, really quickly, and, and very um, syncopated notes and rhythms in there as well. So I, they've enjoyed working on The Incredibles, and we've enjoyed putting it together. So here is music from The Incredibles. Thank you. 
Okay, I'd like to welcome our wind ensemble to the stage here, our, uh, our third ensemble of the night. And um, I'd also like to welcome Joel in the baseball uniform there. You saw him sneak in there in the last second. He, um, I was relieved to see him. He was uh, at bat at about 6.45 in Dunkin' Donuts Park, got a hit, and then rushed here to, uh, to join us. Really wanted to play these pieces. So let's give it, let's give it up for Joel. This first selection, Ride by Sam Hazo, is just a you know just a modern, fun, fast, lots of percussion piece, and uh, we really enjoyed working on it. So I think you're going to love Sam Hazo's Ride.
Okay, they're forcing me to use the, to make the dad joke. They're forcing me to make the dad joke that I did in rehearsal. Did you enjoy the ride? Yes, okay. Thank you. I, I, thank you. I'm here every, uh, every day. I'm here every day. Our next piece, Hounds of Spring uh, by Alfred Reed, is uh, a very traditional band piece, but it's a lot of energy, um, heavy on, uh, on, on our brass and lots of flourishing woodwinds. Uh, it's been a real joy to work on this piece. We did a piece by Alfred Reed last year, Armenian Dances, and um, I you know sort of inspired by the enjoyment that they got out of that piece to try this one. Um, so it's a long piece. It starts with a you know, fast section, nice, slow, beautiful middle section, and then a fast section to end. So it's in an overture format. Uh, so here it is, um, Hounds of Spring.
Our last selection with this ensemble is entitled Slava. It's by the famous composer and conductor Leonard Bernstein, um, West Side Story, New York Philharmonic. And uh, he composed this piece for a friend of his who was another fellow composer, fellow, uh, fellow conductor, Rostropovich. Rostropovich's nickname was Slava. So he wrote this piece to sort of welcome him to a new um, position that he had conducting in Washington, DC. This piece is, is sort of a carnival, circus-like, exciting, um, it's just, it's full of joy. The translation of the nickname Slava in Russian is glory. So you'll just hear that running throughout. It's just full of life and joy and fun. Um, and we have a guest percussionist, Christian D'Alessandro, is willing to play some ratchet for us. So thank you, Christian. Here is Leonard Bernstein's Slava. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, everyone. Can I have the seniors please come up and try to line up starting kind of roughly on this side as best you can. Seniors, come on up. Ben, come this way. Ben, come this way a little bit so we can make a little more room there. Come down a little more. Come down a little more. Umu, come down a little bit. Come down. There we go. There we go. So this class of 2023 has seen some of the strangest years of high school I can possibly remember. Yes? We, we, we started off, we had a great first two-thirds of a freshman year, and sometime in March, we went home and disappeared into a strange land. And it wasn't until, uh, you know, really, it wasn't until last February, a year and, you know, three months ago, that we got back into the band room in our regular seating with normal spacing and all that stuff. That's how long it took. And I am just wildly impressed, just moved by how dedicated you guys have been through all of these years. And to put together this concert after the four years that we have had is just tremendous and speaks volumes to your talent and your dedication. I am such a tremendously talented and large class. We are going to miss them just more than you will know. And um, I hope that you guys, I know you will always keep music close to your hearts throughout your life. And um, I know how proud your parents are from hearing hot cross buns in fifth grade or fourth grade all the way to Slava here on the high school stage. And I hope that uh, someday maybe you hear hot cross buns again in your house someday. So. Thank you very much for all your years of dedication. Let's hear it for the class of 2023. Can we get one more round of applause for Mr. Brooks? So our senior class has been moved tremendously by Mr. Brooks. Uh, I'd also like to say thanks to the people who sit behind us and whoever is here, still here from Symphonic Band. They th went through the thick of it in middle school. Uh, in high school, it was hard to get through COVID band. I couldn't imagine middle school band. Uh, but without Mr. Brooks' help, they wouldn't have grown to become the musicians they have become. And Symphonic Band wouldn't be as great as we, as it is. We thought it was going to be a little worse, but... <laughs> You guys sound amazing. So we thank Mr. Brooks for all that. <laughs> um, I would like to thank Mr. Brooks for always making band a safe space and for always being there for us and for making band like one big family. I'll be forever grateful for the experiences I have had here. We thought you would like to remember our last concert. So there is a Polaroid being taken of every single ensemble that's been up here tonight. Also, since you're like a dad to all of us, we got you a Lowe's gift card. Don't spend it all in one place. Thank you for everything. Who's speaking next? Uh, I would just like to thank Brooks for being such a great band director and also allowing me and supporting me for trying new instruments. Without you, I never would have become Basumu or tried or Ben and Kate or tried soprano, alto, and tenor saxophone. So thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Jaden. Thanks. I, re I remember one time in sophomore year at the height of COVID, uh, I was the only flute in, in the one class. And when Mr. Brooks sent us out all to sectionals, I was the only flute alone in the room. So what Mr. Brooks did was he took out a second flute, and he took out a flute duet book, and we started playing together. So it's moments like that that I think make all of us really appreciate what he does for us.
Okay. I want to specifically acknowledge his uh, repertoire taste. Because uh, like a lot of people, I'm sure, I started high school. I was just a kid who was in band. And last year, we did Puccini. We did a Aaron Copeland. And like that, that brought me from a kid who was in band to somebody who wanted to do that forever. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Brooks. Uh, I'm Jackson. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for all the opportunities I've had over the last four years. I've enjoyed every second of it, and I couldn't ask for a better music teacher. Thank you very much. I just want to thank Mr. Brooks for all of the, you, that's it. We were totally prepared. Mr. Brooks, in every ensemble Mr. Brooks part of, he gives 100%, and we really appreciate that. We go to jazz band on Monday nights, and he's still there. Sometimes he has to stay through, and it's, we just appreciate everything you do. You just 110% every day. We really appreciate you. Um, to close it out, I think what I want to talk about Brooks the most is just how much he's inspired this class. I mean, I think, I think a good number of us are going to college for music now. And I think a lot of that has to do with just five or six, yeah, me included. I, I just think that what you did, you just kept pushing us past what we thought we could do. And even in ensembles, even at wind at 7.34 in the morning, you, you, were, you were patient with us and you pushed us to play this type of music and you, you've really inspired all of us to keep pursuing music in the future. And I think that's something I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. Those are very, very kind words. And 7.34 in the morning is hard. But you guys make it exciting for me. I can't tell you how many times I'm driving in, I'm like, oh, the to-do list and the email. How am I going to get through this? You know, it's a Teacher Tuesday. I might have to go through some meetings. And then I get to direct this kind of music with you guys. It's been inspiring on both ends. So thank you very much. You. We're going to invite our drum line to come right up here. And they're going to entertain us while we're working on our set change for jazz band. Thank you. Good job, Dave.
All right, this is our NHS drum line. They have been working since the fall to um, just keep, keep going with their marching technique and playing more and more music. So they're here every once a week working on the stuff with our director, Mr. Tommy Ropes. Take it away.
Okay, thank you for bearing with us for those couple transitions. Um, we've got a nice jazz set for you. Our first selection is Trumpets Out Front. This is going to feature, I wanted to pick a piece that was going to feature our tremendous, our tremendous trumpet section. We have, um, in our trumpet section, as you know, we've got several All-State players and Nate, who is an All-National French horn player playing trumpet back there with us. So this song is going to feature our trumpet section. And you're going to meet a bunch of members of the band. Trumpets Out Front. Matt Samarato and Dylan Ankle back there on the trumpet. Charlie on the tenor sax. Mason on the alto. Ella on the berry sax. Rihanna on the trombone. Thank you. 
Henry Dieter on the bass. Jackson Civitolo on the alto sax. Here for the trumpet section back there. That was Rachel Bailey on the drums. We're bringing out R.J. Pouliot, and that was John. That was uh, John Henry, <laughs> Henry Dieter on the uh, on the bass, and we're bringing out Braden Lenahan to join. This is a nice, easy Latin called Samba Kinda Mambo. It's going to feature our trombone section in here. Thank you. 
Eli Johnson, Ben Burnham on the trombones. Dylan Ankle, everybody, on the trumpet. Jackson Civitello. Trombone section there, everybody. Trombone section.
RJ Pouli out on the drum set, Jake Tatum on the congas. Switching up drummers one more time. This is Jake Tatum on the drum set here. He's going to play the last tunes, the last two tunes with us. Um, we're going to slow down with a little ballad, and it's going to feature, again, our trombone section a little bit, but our lead trombonist, Eli Johnson. This is God Bless the Child.
Eli Johnson on the trombone, everybody. Well, they're getting set up for our last tune. I just want to say some quick thank yous first to my colleague and, um, and partner in crime, Mr. Chris Clark. Let's hear from Mr. Chris Clark out there, right? Thank you to our faculty and our administration. We enjoy tremendous support for the arts here at Newington High School. Um, big thank you to our boosters program. We have a tremendous boosters uh, program. You can see have some information in the program. Please consider getting involved. They give sweatshirts to all the students when they're juniors. They're giving out $1,000 in scholarships to seniors this year. They're putting on the banquet um, in June. So please consider joining that, that group as well. It's here for our boosters. Thank you to all the parents for coming out to all your concerts for all these years. And uh, a big thank you to my students for making uh, 734 <laughs> so enjoyable. And uh, all these years we've put in, I really appreciate it. So it's a, it's a great honor to be able to work with you guys. Thank you. Our last song here is a hard-hitting swing tune. Count Bubba and the Saxes are gonna finally get their due. That's gonna feature a short little, short little solely in all, in all the ensembles here. This is Count Bubba.
Do an echo on the trumpet. Jackson Civitolo on the alto saxophone. on lead trumpet back there. NHS Jazz Band. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight.